Hey guys, I'm back in the last part we unlocked Shuju's level 10 weapon. And now we're gonna go unlock Shoyu's level 10 weapon, but keep in mind that this will be done in legend mode, so we cannot combine both Dynasty Warriors 4 and Dynasty Warriors 4 Extreme Legends, otherwise we would have to go to free mode, play the Siege of Fawn Castle, and get it that way. Anyways, let's get to it. Since we are getting Zhou level 10 weapon in legend mode, we have to go to his legend stage. There we go, and I'll show off the fourth model like always. Alright, here we go. So, we already know the narration. I'll skip that. The special rules, no items, that's fine, I'll make do. The equipment, the weapon, as you know, we have the Elder Sword at level 9. I can't equip any items, but for the fact that I actually am allowed bodyguards, I'm going to set my bodyguards to 8. That way, there will be more distractions uh, when it comes to fighting the enemy. Well, hopefully the enemy will be distracted. Anyways, um, yeah, so the objectives, all we have to do is defeat Zhuge Liang before he retreats and we win. If I die, if Zhuge Liang retreats, or if the time runs out, we lose the unit info. For Sun Quan's forces, we have Zhou Yu, which is me, Ding Feng, and Xu Sheng. For Liu Bei's forces, we have Zhuge Liang, and, well, that's it for now anyways. But there will be... A few more other enemy generals that we have to fight, but that will be in a bit. So, uh, anyways, let's do it. So, to get Zhou level 10 weapon in legend mode, well, it basically sucks. I'll talk about that in a bit. Damn, I was too late. I am sure we will meet again, Lord Zhou I am certain that you will soon become a great threat to Wu. You must be eliminated here and now. Alright, so in order to get Zhou level 10 weapon, we have to do the following. We have to defeat Miju, Sun Xian, Zheng Fei, and Guan Yu before Zhuge Liang arrives uh, from one part of the map to the other. Pretty much means we have to defeat all four enemy generals in under three minutes. But well, we have three minutes to do it. And um, keep in mind, no items at all. Bodyguards, that's fine. But um, they're really not going to be doing much, if anything. Like I said, there will be just a mere distraction. And that's it. So, in a way, I feel like you're kind of on your own with this. Um, just make sure that when you approach Zhang Fei or Guan Yu, that one of them challenges you to a duel. Because if they don't, you're going to have to start over again. Unless you are rapid fast, or if you know where the battle axes are right away, then you should be perfectly fine there. Anyways, we took down Miju and Sun Xian. Now we'll aim for Zhang Fei. I would, me personally, I would recommend fighting Zhang Fei and dueling Guan Yu. But, you know... Beggars can't be choosers. That's how I see it. Yeah, this is going to suck now. Because I really prefer dueling Guan Yu. Zhang Fei is easier to face outside of duels. Guan Yu isn't. I saw that one coming. Yeah, look out for those jump attacks. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. I missed. Got him. All right. Now it's all about facing Guan Yu. That's going to be a pain. Why? Well, I've tried both methods. Uh, well, not both methods, but I tried getting a weapon on both. I'm not going to say both uh, varieties. That sounds bad. More, of, I've tried to get the weapon when I had to duel Zhang Fei and face Guan Yu and vice versa. And... Uh, Guan Yu's range is so fucking disgusting that you could actually 
he could actually attack you off screen. You can't see him, but he can still attack you. It's fucking nuts. And he's going the other way. Alright, how much time do I have left? I have a whole minute, but I don't think that's going to really matter, because I know I'm going to mess this up. Oh my god, I actually got it. Alright. Wow, I really thought I was going to mess that up. Anyways, um, yeah, because every time I tried facing Guan Yu outside of a duel in Duel Zhang Fei, I failed getting the weapon every time. So, but that's just me though. You might be able to get it by facing Zhang Fei in a duel, what I just did here. But um, now all I have to do is wait for Zhuge Liang. Which he should be arriving very shortly. And uh, since I already have the weapon, I'm going to aim for ending the stage right now. But he's going to try to go for the objective, unfortunately. But since you actually have Ding Feng and Xu Sheng uh, ready for ambushes, or ready for the uh, those so-called ambushes, uh, he'll definitely be stalled for a while. In the meantime, we will duel Xiao Yun. I was hoping to skip this part, but that's fine. Speak louder than words. Now I just need to make sure I win this one. Yeah, just get ready for the Musu attack. At least they don't have it anymore. Until you drop the health down to near red. That might finish him off. Yep, there you go. You definitely need to keep an eye out on the enemy Musu gauge because as soon as they try, as soon as you try to attack them, they'll automatically use the Musu attack. So just get ready for it, <laughs> if anything. So we got that taken care of. Now we'll aim for Zhuge Liang. Like I said, he'll pull Dynasty Warrior Seven up on you. And if anyone doesn't know what that, what I mean by that, as in they'll pretty much bypass you, try to go for the objective not worry about anything and everything just to make sure that objective actually goes through. Um, if anyone has played Dynasty Warriors 7, you know exactly what I'm referring to. It's a real pain in the ass. But um, anyways, he's almost down. And there you go. I didn't have to worry about the ambushes. And that's a win. Alright, that's another weapon down. Okay, I'll count as 15, which is pathetic, but I was kind of expecting it. Um, well, where the opponent count is 6, I believe there are a few more other generals in waiting if we allowed our ambushes to be, well, if we allowed our ambushes to uh, get triggered, but no, that's fine. Uh, our clear time is 4 minutes and uh, 4 seconds, and our point total is 4,571 points. Not that that matters, because if I'm not mistaken, yeah, since I am grinding for the level 9 weapons, again, most likely these points will be at max, but um, this is on a separate memory card, so just keep in mind, most likely when you see me go for the level 11 weapons, these points will not be at max. Um, or they shouldn't be. But if they are, that's fine too. Not that it matters. Uh, yeah, anyways. So there you go. The level 10 weapon again. The Agent Sword. And if... Wow. Just a little bit of train of thought there. Um, but as I was saying, um, in order to get it here in Legend Mode, all you have to do is defeat Miju, Sun Xian, 
Zhang Fei and Guan Yu in under three minutes or before Zhuge Liang's boat docks. I think I did it with probably 20 seconds to spare. Um, and I feel like I did it the harder way, fighting Guan Yu outside of the duel and duel Zhang Fei. But that's just me though. Um, if you're trying to get it on the original Dynasty Warriors 4 disc, all you have to do is play the Siege of Fawn Castle under the Wu Forces, obviously, and make sure when the Supply Convoy appears, defeat the Supply Captain, and you're set. So, anyways. And the Bodyguards, as you know, I can give two shits. I'm actually surprised that I kept all of them alive. The Grade... We got a B, but that's fine. I was just going for the weapon. Um, when I go for the level 11 weapon, I have to make sure that grade is an S rank. <laughs> Anyways, we'll save. And there you have it. You've been watching my gaming adventures featuring Dynasty Warriors 4. In some cases, Extreme Legends. Well, in this case, it really is Extreme Legends. And I'll see you in the next part where we'll go and unlock another level 10 weapon. And the next level 10 weapon we'll be getting is Lucian's. So, peace out.